What's up, everybody? It's your favorite queen, Queen Fierce, with another edition of Queen Fierce Has Spoken. I have a bomb conversation and demonstration lined up for you today. So we're going to call it a demonstration or something like that, because you know. I make up words and things. But anyway, before we jump in today, I just really wanted to connect with you all and talk a little bit about um, gender-based violence that has been so apparent in our city. Um, I'm based here in Philadelphia, and in the last week alone, uh, over the course of seven days, there was three women very publicly um, killed um, due to domestic violence. We're talking about on the street okay there was um a pregnant woman seven months pregnant coming home from her baby shower um unloading presents from the car and was shot in the head and in the abdomen seven times there was a woman walking her twin boys home from school um she was also shot and, and killed very deliberate because the children were not hurt um and also a 55 year old woman eloise harman was shot by her deranged husband. So I just want everybody to say say her name, say their names. Uh, Psychia Patton, Jessica Covington, Eloise Harmon. Um, keep them in your hearts and your prayers as the family navigates this difficult time. And I thought that it would be beneficial if we did a collective moment of silence before we jumped into the show today, because I wouldn't be who I am if I didn't at least mention that this is an epidemic that is going on here in our city. Um, black women are struggling just to survive. No one cares for black women more than black women. And while we are on the front lines, basically fighting for our rights and fighting for each other, we're also being gunned down by the people who are closest to us and are supposed to love us. And on top of that, we have to worry about systemic violence as well. So just a moment, as you can see, I have to take a deep breath because I get impassioned. Uh, last week was a very difficult work uh, week for me. And for those of you who don't know me, I am actively involved in this work. So I work for an organization, New Voices for Reproductive Justice, um, who fights for the complete health and well-being of Black women, femmes, girls, and gender expansive people. So to be so directly um, connected to work leaves me feeling a bit more impacted um, when I hear these things just on the news or across my social media. And I know it's not fair and I feel like that these women are no different than me. So what what is it to stop me from being the next hashtag or y'all saying my name next week? How am I different? I'm not different. And the truth of the matter of it, uh, the truth of the matter is none of us are. Um, we cannot walk around like we are invincible. It is time to uh, take a stand and in the meantime, create a safety plan. Um, we talked about this a little bit on um, the Decent Fear show, which airs every Thursday at 8 p.m. on IG Live. So you can hop over there and check me out with D the Comedian, a.k.a. AKA the underscore Decent Show, D-I-C-E-N-T, um, while we talk about current events. Um, on that platform. And so this was this was brought up, this idea of safety plans. Um, so I just want to encourage you all to, con to consider that. Um, even if you think it's just a regular trip to the market, even if you think, oh, I'm just coming home from my friend's house. The other night I was coming home from Delaware from my god sister's house and I had to stop for gas and it was very late at night. And I got a little anxious, like the last thing anybody knows is that I'm on my way home. What if I don't make it home? It prompted me to text my god sister and my love that, hey, I'm stopping at a gas station. This is where I'm at. And sometimes it takes that for you to feel a bit more safe, for you to feel a bit more secure. We also have to up the ways that we are protecting ourselves. We may need to carry a weapon. We may need to take self-defense. We may need to switch up our routes. Um, there are ways to stay safe in the meantime while we are tackling the greater issue of gun violence and gender-based violence. Um, so I think I went off on a tangent for a little bit, but just a moment of silence. And while you're in that silence, take a few deep breaths. 
um, meditate on the names of Zakia Patton, the mother who was killed while walking her twins home, Jessica Covington, the pregnant woman who was unloading baby shower presents from her car, and Eloise Harmon, the woman who screamed, please help, someone called 911, and her husband shot her as she was running down the street. <sighs> Thank you for taking this moment of silence with me. say her name and protect black women. With that being said, thank you for joining me today. I had to get that, um, I had to get that in there. It had to be said, um, but we are about to have a bomb, a bomb show, okay? I'm so super excited to bring you Chef Karina from Philly Vegan Wear. Yes, we had her before when she was just starting out on her journey, starting her vegan um, vegan cooking business, but she is up and rolling and all over the city, the tri-state, um, just spreading her love and her joy for her new lifestyle. And today I had the opportunity to chop it up in the kitchen with her as we made one of her top favorite and fast meals. So sit back, relax, comment, like, subscribe. I'm in the comments with you, chatting it up um, while we watch Karina cook this amazing vegan meal. Let me know what you think. Share this if anything resonates and let's get into the conversation and the demonstration. The demonstration. <laughs> Highlighting chef extraordinaire. Oh, extraordinaire. I know what that sounds. <laughs> yeah. Karina White of Philly Vegan Wear. What's yeah. up, girl? What's up? Yeah, I'm going to do that while we talk to my quick. Yeah. yeah. Yes, guys. I'm so excited that you're here. I uh, know. So, so this is a long time coming. Right, right. <laughs> I'm just supposed to kick this to y'all. I'm not even going to tell you when. But I was just like, you know what? This would be dope. This will be dope if we show people how you make a vegan dish, like a part of your day and how you started on this journey. So yes. let's do a quick, like, who you are it doesn't have to be quick. Okay. But let's okay. just talk a little yeah. bit about who you are and how you came to all of this. Yeah, so again, my name is Karina White, um, born and raised in Philly, North Philly to be exact. Um, and this started kind of as a... Um, personal journey as far as me um, going down the vegan route um and then in terms of business because my friends and my family were kind of in my ear and they were like hey you know once I lost my job in September they were like you probably should take this as a blessing and turn into something bigger and I was like mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to do that um but I mean they just kept talking you know and I started the research and I started looking at the competition. I'm like, you know what? I can do this. You know, I've always had leadership abilities. I just had to take it to the next level, you know. And I've always known how to cook. It was just learning how to make vegan dishes. So that's kind of me, that's kind of where we're at now. Right. You know? So why are we making vegan dishes? Vegan dishes for me specifically, uh, so my grandmother passed away in August of 2019. And that for me was kind of a staple. I was like, yeah, I don't want to go down that same path. Um, and so, you know, trying to cut out meat and cut out dairy for me was a big um, homage to her. So that's kind of what took her out. And her diet wasn't that good. That's, what, that's how we grew up, you know, something like that. We eat fried foods and all that, you know. But watching her suffer for so long, I knew that was the ultimate problem. Um, so I didn't want to go down that road. So I made a change. And I want to share with the world. Here we go. It all starts <laughs> to do. Be yes. the change that you want to see. You know I say that yes. all of the time. So 
what are we making? <laughs> yes, we're gonna make uh, fish and chips. All right, right. so classic, uh, but veganized. Okay. okay. So um, I know you've had vegan fish before. Um, so I use banana blossoms. Um, this particular is my favorite brand. It's Todd's. You can find them in any Asian market. Um, but they come out like this out of the out of the can. So I'm so interested in this <laughs> because this is called banana blossom. Yes. Ball. Yes. Banana blossom. Right. <laughs> so you're a YouTube and like right. <laughs> Right. So how are we turning a banana blossom into a piece of fish? This man. <laughs> well, first off, if anyone's trying to try this at home, I found that the most important step of doing this is wringing out the liquid when you first take it out the can. Mm-hmm. Because it soaks in brine. Mm-hmm. And so if you don't do that, it comes out really soggy. So you got to soak it out. You got to rinse it out first and let it sit for a little bit. But in order to give it a fishy flavor, right, this is um, oat milk. You can use any dairy free milk, obviously. Uh, you can use almond milk. Oat milk, whatever, it doesn't matter. This is oat milk. And then you take some vegan mayo, right? I normally use like three tablespoons and nori fakaki. Nori fakaki is seaweed. And that's okay. what gives it the fish with. So I think you told me about this yes. uh, seasoning before, and I can never even remember the name of it. Yes, nori fakaki. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Oh, okay. Right. So they have. Uh, <laughs> I get this particular one from Trader Joe's, but mm-hmm. they have it in Asian markets too. They have it actually by the actual like seaweed dry. Okay, like, so Asian. I've seen this in Trader Joe's, right. not knowing that's what this is. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good the fishy flavor. Um, if you have more time, you can boil these in the nori vinagi for like an hour if you want to give it a really strong fishy flavor. But I don't need to do that. I just do it this way, mm-hmm. and it will sit for a couple minutes. I also add garlic powder and a little bit of pepper to this. Not a lot. Because the season that we use already is seasoned, obviously. And then I take a little bit of pepper. Don't ask me what it does to it. I don't know. I just don't taste good. Okay. <laughs> and then you mix it up a little bit. So, uh, by you, so you, you have been changing like your traditional dishes, your, like Southern South cooking, yes. into vegan dishes. So, yes. how did you learn how to cook it? The vegan way. <laughs> so honestly, um, Tabitha Brown's a big influence on oh, my cooking. Yeah, Auntie Tab. Yeah, Tabitha, if you were watching this, please call me, girl. I mean, <laughs> um, uh, pineapple vegan. Um, uh, what's her name? B. She's from Baltimore. B. Pharrell. Mm-hmm. Like all of those influencers that really do vegan on a different level. I just took bits and pieces some pieces from them. They made it my own. Yeah. Um, and I knew what was really important to me was replicating food that we already knew and making it vegan. Like, yeah. I didn't want the food to look foreign, you know, hence the name of the business, Vegan Wear. Um, so that's kind of like, like Vegan Wear. wear. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, so then once you do this, you just let these sit in here. Mm-hmm. And then you get like five or six in a pan, I mean in a can, and I just let this sit in here. So while this is marinating, we're going to cut up our potatoes. Okay. Um, and then we'll let those soak, and then we're going to come back to this. I'll just get that fishy flavor. So that's all that is to that. All right. You following along? I'm so following okay. along. Okay, great. Do you know lies would be like, and when are you making this? <laughs> it's really easy. You can. You really can. Y'all remember when time we went on this hunt for a banana blossom? No, I don't remember. <laughs> Where do we get them I from? Was like, we can do it. Yes. And we were on the hunt for these banana blossoms, could not find them in the can, but found these natural banana oh, blossoms. I right? didn't know that part. And so now we are like Googling how to turn these natural banana blossoms right. into uh, fish. fish. And right. it was like, no, nah, dog, you need them joints in the can. <laughs> Yeah. It would have been a whole nother process. But, yeah. but I don't know how to get it from the plant to this. I couldn't tell you. Right. <laughs> I can't tell you. You lost the sauce. Um, okay, so you made the fries on before. Yeah. Right? Okay. Mm-hmm. So I normally just cut it this way so I can have something stand on. And then I put it on this way, same way. And then I cut it down this way. I like my fries to stick like me. So the cup? <laughs> no, no, a snicker. Well, in this case, <laughs> potato. Think of it as a snicker. Okay. <laughs> Stick lives, stick lives. Okay, cut it this way. I should be able to get one more out of here. And then, I'm gonna get rid of those pieces. And I cut down this way. I'm so excited because 
I love the potato. Yes. Ever since I learned how to make fries from scratch, I've never eaten like store bought fries. Yeah. Because there's nothing like it. Yeah. It's nothing like it. Like it's so good. That's one thing that I do often enough make make my own fries. fries. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you soak them in the water to get rid of the starch. Mm-hmm. And you just keep doing that. Oh, Beyonce on. Oh, the party has started. All right, so while she cutting, I'm going to dance. Period. 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 Okay. Oh, this would be a good time to tell folks, like, yes. if you are digging with the chef is cooking, make sure you like, comment, subscribe yes. on this video. Um, like, like it. Let us know that you're here. Comment down below if you want to know anything about what Karina is doing, because I'm not the expert. <laughs> she is. Um, and yeah, subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be bringing you more dope conversations like this. Period. This is like a conversation and a demonstration. No a demonstration. A demonstration? <laughs> I don't know. I, just be... I need you to name that. I know. A demonstration. Yeah. I've been just smashing words together. You really do. Stuff. You really do. I'm like, she got her own dictionary. Like, the Queen of Dictionary. Yeah. Oh my God, I should do that. You totally could. I don't know. I I'm need to just pick it. I know it. My guy used to yell at me because she was like, you need to focus because I'm just be doing everything. Don't have to be doing everything, y'all. So I need to sit down and watch Karina cook. No, it's All right. okay. It's okay. <laughs> so, like I said, because I put, I put like maybe like three tablespoons of this in here mm -hmm. so you don't have to let it sit for that long because the fish fry also is just chill fry by you. Mm -hmm. I use New Orleans style fish fry. Ooh, ready. Yeah, okay. this one is so good. It takes a lot of work out of it. You can make your own seasoning, obviously, with caramel, flour, whatever seasons you like. But to cut some time out, we use that there. Okay. Yeah. So this is in there. Once we put it in here, we're going to put it right into the fryer. Okay. okay. Once it's in the wet batter, the wet batter, the dry batter, use the hand knife, usually. And then show you from here. And typically, I would use a deep fryer because we're not doing that many. Yeah. I'm going to go pot like this. And that's the dry. They don't take long to fry. I'm so excited about this. This one is like, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm here to eat. Who is, look at the minutes that you had to fit. I know. Okay. So to recap, yes. the banana blossom is so was soaking in the wet mixture yes. that had the. Nori Pukaki. Nori Pukaki. Nori Pukaki. Yeah. That in there with some vegan mayo and some plant-based milk yes. and other seasonings. Yes. And now we're dipping it in the fish fry. Yes. This one just so happens to be by Louisiana. We use this when we fry fish. Perfect. And um, it goes into the into the hot hot oil. Yeah, I'm really excited because it is smelling like I'm like, we'll kitcheny, right? Smelling like I'm kitcheny here. <laughs> I can hear somewhere. I know. I was about to say, channeling the spirits that I see. I see in my mind. We need to fit all of them. But that's cool. Oh, too much. So we're on the side. You want to taste these ones. All right. You don't have to. So, like, when I do the chicken, mm -hmm. the mushrooms, I double batter. Okay. Because it doesn't fit the um the batter bits the, the the flour part doesn't fit. So I gotta go back and forth. But with this, because they're so thick already, yeah, I just do one. Yeah, and so, for the record, the the fried chicken, chicken, right? <laughs> oyster mushroom, oyster yeah. mushroom, it's so delicious. Yeah. It's it's extra crunchy. I love the crunch of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, mmm, this is reminiscent. Mm, of so, have you had the honey? Hot honey sandwich? Yet? No, I haven't oh, had the hot man. honey. Yeah, I'm not excited. Hot honey sandwich. I don't know if I knew it was a hot honey. Yeah, I was influenced by Lizzo. She posted. She was somewhere, and they made one. I was like, I can do that. 
You know, I was watching, um, no, I saw the Popeye's commercial the other day for yes. the chicken sandwich. Yes. And I was like, this looks like a fried mushroom. <laughs> a fried right. oyster mushroom. Right. Right, and I would rather hear that because I don't know if y'all ever been in the Popeye's drive-thru, but they have the sodium warning mm. like alert on the menu. I would keep that. Yeah, and so the last time I was there, I was like, oh, we, I can't eat this no more. Right. I can't. I have actually written all this food. Yeah, it's just, it's just my body telling me that I can't do it anymore. Yeah. Like, yeah. and I had, I was slowly dwindling anyway like I've been I cut out McDonald's for years yeah you know um I probably still will still will get a taco yeah taco Bell. Bell. yeah, yeah I, I definitely will still do taco Bell, but they yeah. had they actually had vegetarian options too oh cool okay um and and so it was when Chick-fil-a started giving me headaches mm-hmm. and Wendy's well Wendy's first and then Chick-fil-a and I was like, okay, this is my body just telling me this is not for me yeah. anymore. Yeah. I did a whole post about that the other day. I was like, you don't realize your body talks to you. Yeah. Like, you got to listen to you it. Have you have to listen. listen. Like, I think I feel like I ignored it for so long. My biggest thing was my knees. Mm-hmm. So, like, I would be, like, walking upstairs or, you know, walking up. I'm like, yo, like, why do I need to like this, you know? And once I started working out mm-hmm. and I, it was hurting more, I'm like, oh, something, I'm too much. It's too much weight on my on my lower limbs, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, this is my body telling me I need to remove some of the fat. Right, right. right. And that was it. But, like, people really should listen to their bodies. Like, yeah. it's an it's unspoken conversation that if you don't listen to it, who knows what can happen. You don't want to wait until the last minute. Right. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, Get it while you're young. I say it all the time. Like, my body will tell me. Yes. When to sit down. And I just, I have just learned to say, okay. Okay. Like, and I've been one of those people to push and push and push. And it's just like, especially as you get older, you just can't, your body is different. And you have to respect that your body is different. And so when it comes down to food, I think that people have just been used to like eating foods a certain way, getting used to the way that things taste. And so when something is like a little different, it's like, oh, this ain't like what mom used to make or this ain't grandmama's or whatever. Or if you even some of this generation, generations have grown up on fast food, grown up on happy meals and dollar menus and four for fours you know what I mean so when that's when you're used to eating anything outside of it it's just like what is this Mm -hmm. but your body will tell you your body will tell you and I was like I just I just gotta listen and it was like I was trying with Wendy's I was trying every now and again Uh like Uh oh this is a fluke you know what I mean no but it was consistently like you can't have a headache for three days just because you want a a chicken sandwich It's, it's not worth it to me right so make sure that you are listening to your bodies. Make sure you're listening to your bodies. <laughs> I think um I think that's why it's so important to me what my brand is and edit that out. Mm-hmm. Um <laughs> my brand because I want people to still find the food familiar. Yeah. You know? Like, oh I want some chicken, but I know what chicken does for me. Let me get some mushrooms. I want some mac and cheese, but I don't mac and cheese dust me, so let me take out the dairy. You know what yeah. I mean? So I still want people to recognize that you can have good food that's good for you. You yeah. know what I mean? So, what am I looking like this? We want this mouth mm. around that color. Okay. I mean, yeah, I love the rock a little bit, so keep it first. Wow. They all golden brown. Oh, they all golden brown, this. I want to try this, this. It's gonna take a little bit longer, but yeah, this, this recipe is really, really simple. You can do it on a Sunday afternoon, you know. Right. Fish and chips. Y'all see that? that? Oh my gosh! <laughs> do y'all see this? Yeah. I cannot wait to bite into this joint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make sure, make sure I got the hot sauce on deck. Right. The hot sauce. Yeah. But Wait, man, you saw me scanning the room. Like, ah, don't no worry. I'm, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to it out. I'm sorry. Oh, where's the hot sauce? It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> yeah, it's 
definitely coming. Look at this. This is like the Karina show right now. Oh my Girl, goodness. Girl, this is how you fall look when you do your YouTube channel. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the good thing too about um vegan cooking mm-hmm. is that it's really no such thing as cross contamination. No such thing as what? Cross contamination. Uh-huh. Because I've been put those fries right in here. Right. I was going to ask you about that. And if anything, all I'm going to do is add flavor. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. You know what I mean? Right, right. But I'm not taking fries, putting in chicken oil, putting in fruit oil. Like, right, right. Plant. So freaking plant. Right. Plant to you plant. You know what I mean? That's it. So we're going to let this cool down just a little bit to put the fries in. Okay. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to add a little bit of salt to these. Just a little, not a lot. It keeps the crispness and nothing to do with flavor. <laughs> And then that's pretty much it for that. And then we're gonna bring the fries. We're gonna dry these off first. You feeling the vibe? Music? I am. I love Ari. I know. Yeah, I was I thinking her. about her and her um, live videos. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, she always likes off. All right. I can see her. I'm like, Ari, if I can't talk to you, I can, if I can't see you while I talk to you, I don't talk to you. <laughs> but, um, she be on it. Like, she be on it. I need my gloves. Um, but I love her. Her, uh, Jasmine. Who else? Thanks for the people. Oh, you know I'm a, ne- a neo soul old here. I am too. So. <laughs> I am too. Oh, um, what's kind of LMA? Yeah. I love you from LMA. Her new song with Big Mills, it's fabulous. Actually, with that. All right, so that's cool. Then simmer down. You can you don't hear it sizzling as much as you want. Right. Okay. So you don't put the fries in. I double fry the fries. Keep the um crispness in there. So when you say double fry, so you just leave them, them in longer. Or no, you take I'll, them out. I fry them for like maybe four or five minutes. Uh huh. Let them sit a little bit. Put them Yeah. I don't know where I got this one. I just tried it one day and I'm like, oh, it came out better. Right. So I just kept doing it. A different kind of crispy. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's why a lot of restaurants do sea salt. Mm hmm. But I don't use salt a lot in my food. If I do, I use Himalayan salt. Mm hmm. It doesn't have the same effect. So I learned that double fine. It keeps me the same. You know, same result. Yum. I've been learning some stuff. There's an experiment in the kitchen. I know. That's literally what it comes down to. And it's amazing when we learn these kind of things because now you actually have a skill right. that you can teach other people. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. think people get um anxious about that, like, oh, I'm I'm new to it or I'm still learning and everything. But once you get like a, a one up or if you truly like mastered something, you now have the ability to spread that knowledge. Yeah, I think that's I've also learned that transparency is everything. Like, yeah. I tell people, hey, I'm still learning. Or we learn, you know, we go together. Right. Learning, like, this is a process for me, too. You know? Like, every time I try a new recipe or do something on TV, I'm like, oh, I can try it that way. You yeah. know? So it, the process is never over for me. You know, they're always going yeah, and I think that's important. It that's, is. That's the other piece. Like, people think, like, okay... I got this down, like, no, it's done. No. But there's always a next step. Especially there's always in culinary, a, like, yeah. it's, it's always something. There's elevation in everything. Yeah. And now these days, the vegan life is yeah. skyrocketing. Everybody wants to be vegan, mm-hmm. you know? So if the food is good, then that's even better. Right, right. You know, that's even better. I, I like that you don't have to be vegan to be eat vegan food. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Try it, you won't make vegan. 
It's right. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not here to convert yeah, you. I'm like, <laughs> Having one meal is just that. Right. Having one meal is <laughs> having something on your stomach. It, it was like his mind was spread all over. The, oh, well, that's true. You put it that way. Sure. Like, it was crazy. I was like, like, this is a genius move. <laughs> I started thinking about, I was like, no, that is so true. It's right because it's true and it's true because it's right. Right. You like, do not have to be vegan and eat vegan food. Ask me how I know. Crazy. Like, you ain't asked me to eat solid, but they vegetarian. Right. You right, because they didn't eat solid. You know, they made it stick the next day. Like, it's so crazy yeah. to me. Like, Oh no! I definitely just, think whew. my my palate is kind of across the board. Yeah. So when I when I feel like having a steak, I will. But I probably eat steak for real, for real, like two times a year. Uh-huh. Like I don't even eat when I whenever I order out. Like red meat isn't even my first preference. Uh-huh. And I'm even like dying down on the chicken. Yeah. I've like prefer the the vegetarian yeah. option yeah um and i actually like like beans and veggies yeah. and stuff like that like i could throw that shit in everything right give me some black beans right. and some tomatoes some corn some peppers <laughs> we got a whole meal <laughs> a right. whole meal it's funny that they always say that the poultry is what's like the worst about mm-hmm. the meat. Like, it's not the red meat. It's not the pork. It's the turkey and the chicken. And it's like, huh? Like, what's what we grew up on? Right. You know, the fried chicken, the turkey wings. But it's likely know? also the things that they do. That's what I'm saying. That's the, what I'm saying. The right. They inject them with the sodium before we even get to it. Right. And then we go ahead. I don't see it to it. You know, baby boy, I was on our lorries. Right. You know? So, I, and salt on salt. Right. I made some, um, boiled some chicken breast the other day yeah. and I didn't put anything in it. I made it so I can make like these mini chicken pot pies. Cute. It was so good. Cute. And, I, um, and so I took them out the pot and I tasted the chicken and I was expecting it to taste like very bland because I hadn't seasoned salty. it and I boiled it and I was like why is this chicken like tasty? Mm-hmm. Good. Mm-hmm. Right? Had not put a drop of seasoning on it. Right. Took it right out of the boiling water. Right. Right. Like, why was it? And I just was like, this, I don't know if it's right. It's good. It tastes good. Right. Right. But why does it taste good? Right. Why does it do it? Right. Right. So that, that's a, an important thing to note because they are putting things in our food before it even gets yes. to us. Big facts. Big, big facts. Did you see that documentary, What the Hell? Yes. That's what really changed my mind. Yeah. When yeah. I watched that, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> like, I was scared. They be doing some merch. They be Too doing much. the, the absolute most. Like, and you're like, okay, and we're putting this in our body? Right. Yeah, like, it's scary. It's scary. Like, my grandma was always, like, making, like, chicken dumplings and fried chicken. Mm-hmm. I remember she loved making turkey legs like, almost every Sunday. My mom was huge on fried chicken. You remember? Mm-hmm. My mom was always frying fried chicken. So it was like to to just cut that fried it. chicken was good too. Listen, <laughs> to just cut that out like cold turkey was right. hard. But when you think about the bigger picture, like the reason why, mm-hmm. that's a bigger motivation than anything. You know, Child, I always I always say that I'll be like. We'll cut certain stuff over. I won't be. I won't eat chicken for a long time or whatever. But uh-huh. child, some wings from Bala will just bring me right back. Oh, to the, the bar! Oh my God, they did have good chicken. They, they did. did, and so what helped me get? Um, what helped me wean off of them is the last time I went there, the chicken wasn't the same. They yeah. changed the chef. They changed, yeah. They changed and so, stuff. and it was like really salty and salty. Yeah. And I was like, I remember oh, right that sprint they they had they had just changed the show. Yeah, I was like, oh, this is not the it same. It is not was the like same. Two years ago. But holla if you remember the old bottle. Right. Because <laughs> that it's chicken, different. I promise you, I would go on my little t- everything. If yeah. I would switch my diet up, let somebody say you want to go get some wings. Everything, everything changes. It's out the right. window. Right. That would right. bring me back every time. Right. So yeah, I know that I know that little that fried right. chicken thing. Yeah. But I I would like to say that I'm better. Good. <laughs> good listen. That's good I'm progress. better now. That's progress. It, it is. is. So it's fabulous. 
I'm excited. Now, if we can just get rid of this second gut, then. <laughs> I'll be watching you work out, Karina, and I'll be like, I really, it, it, it's inspiring because I was like, I never felt like I was in a place where I needed a trainer. It's uh-huh. just like, oh, I know what to do. Like, uh-huh. I just need to really like buckle do down and do right. it or whatever. Right. But I'm also in a place in my life where my motivation is different. Um, I'm comfortable with my body, but that doesn't mean that there shouldn't be any changes. Sure, sure. You know, yeah, so, you right, right, right. So when I see you train, I'll be like, dang, Karina looks so good, <laughs> yo. And then you be going hard and the trainer be in there and stuff. And I was like, maybe I do need a trainer. I don't know. Maybe well, you know, I was to... working out by myself yeah. for a while mm-hmm. when I first uh, decided to go on this with my journey. And then when I had that plateau, the first time you interviewed me, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, so how long was this going to last? Like, nothing else was going off. Like, I don't understand. And now is when I decided to get a trainer. I was like, I need uh, some type of boost. Right, you know? right. And I never thought ever <laughs> that I would enjoy lifting weights. Mm-hmm. I enjoy it. Like, right. I look forward to it. Like, and it's not even just the actual physicality of it. It's the progress. Like, mm-hmm. oh, we're going we gonna to raise your weights this week. Like, knowing that I'm getting stronger yeah. every week, every three days. Like, it's mind-boggling, you know? Like, it's mind-boggling. So it's like, again, but your body will tell you right. when it's ready for that type of change. Like, I wasn't thinking about lifting weights a year, six months ago. I just right, wasn't. Right. I was going to do my cardio, walk. And that was it. Mm-hmm. But my body was like, hey, we need something else. Yeah. I'm like, all right, girl, what you want to do? <laughs> She's like, I want to lift weights. You want to do what? <laughs> I want to say that louder? Right. Like, I'm like, send me a text because I'm not hearing you clearly. <laughs> like, are you sure about yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she was serious and me being in there getting it done, like, it's just, you know. Yes. And make sure if you're not already, you're following Philly, Philly oh, Vegan yeah. Wear yeah, on sweet. Instagram. So you can kind of check out some of this progress too, okay? Yeah. Because when Karina is not wearing her chef uniform, <laughs> baby, <laughs> the curves is out. I'm dying. I'm dying. Listen. <laughs> Ow. Don't make it to your head. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm crying. I'm so proud. Oh my gosh. Listen, even that took a minute. Because I know, since I've known you, always the mm-hmm. Always. I was not. I'm like, listen, between showing my arms or showing my everything was always covered. Mm-hmm. Like, this, but the past year and a half has been the most skin I've ever shown. Oh, I'm yeah. 33 years. Like, I love that kind of graduation. Like, seriously. <laughs> like, it's my friend. I'm like, you think it's again? Yes, girl. You the, came such a long way. I came way. such a long way, yeah. you know? And I see it. Like, I see the figure, like, coming in. I'm like, listen, I just thank God, because I never, I never thought I would be like, you know, well, I've been my whole life. Right. Because I was a kid. They used to call me hand pop down. Real talk, hand pop down in high school. I'm like, yo, this is terrible. But when y'all wait, y'all wait. If only they knew them what we know now. Listen, listen. <laughs> I get one pet. One, one. I don't need six. Just give me one, and I'm good to go. I'm good. I, it's coming I'm good. in. It's coming in. Seriously, that's all I need. I'm so serious. I know. Oh my goodness, I'm excited though. But you gonna know, sis. You gonna wake up one day and be like, all right, it's about that time. Yeah, it's about that time. I'm approaching a milestone birthday. Yes. So yes. <laughs> Yes, you are. more about my body and right. what I want to look like right. in my milestone year. Right. And um, so I, I have been giving that some thought lately. So yeah. there may be some changes coming to a Queen Fair has spoken there yet. Yeah. <laughs> you do everything at your own page. Like, yeah. Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff can get into your head so easily. Mm-hmm. But you guys just say, spit yourself, man. Like, and... 
Because I was that girl. I was like, oh my God, I wish I had that body. I wish I had that stomach. I wish I had those legs. And sometimes I still go back there. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, I just think about what's coming. I just see the light in the tunnel. Like, I'm like, I don't care how long it takes me. I do care, but I don't care. Like, because I know I'm going to get there. You yeah. know what I mean? Whereas uh, before, I was like, oh, I'm never going to get there. Like, forget this. I'm not going to just give up now. Maybe I'm supposed to be this size. But I'm like, no. There's something going to happen quick. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Y- y'all can't hear it, but my cat over here having a ball. <laughs> With this toy that I got her, like, I mean, it has a whole ball. These like, kids always want to be part of the show. Like, they already know the milkshake struggle. <laughs> oh, right, right. You're just saying you have your part in the show. All right, so when they get like this, I think about. Okay. And let them sit for a little bit. Now, these look like I'm ready to dive into these. Nope, they ain't ready yet. They ain't ready yet. And just put them here for a minute. We were going to be proud with them a little faster, but you know what I'm saying? We were going to be it's okay. We were yes. having a good chat in yeah, the we meantime. Were. Yes. You better eat good, girl. I'm like, did I sign up for this? Oh. I don't know. Oh my gosh. I'm feeling hashtag blessed. What's up? Oh, John. And highly favored. Oh, John. For a minute or so, I'm going to sit out. So, you know, the second time they fry is gonna fry faster. Right. So, like we were talking the first time, I can't take my eye off them the second time. Mm-hmm. They will burn. Okay. They will burn. True story. <laughs> so, yeah. But, like, what have you been cooking? Like, what do you cook at home? Hey, y'all, I'm back. I'm gonna be I guess. I'm your, did I even tell them? I'm your host, Queen Paris. This is Karina. And so, if you ain't liked or shared or commented yet, you probably should do that now. Meow. We'll wait. No, no. no. We'll wait. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, I actually cooked, not cooked for the holiday. Oh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? I know. I. I actually got my hands dirty a little bit. Okay. I made those mini chicken pot pies. Right, right. Which were uh, fantastic. Awesome. By the way. Oh. oh, and I made some, um, I made some mac and cheese. It was not vegan, but it was still delicious. I actually used the recipe from um, Chef Joy. Okay. Um, so it was really tasty and I wanted seafood in, so I put some Seafood. Yeah. And um, and so that was good. Um, but La is the one who yeah. really be like Don't going down. Really? Yeah. What did she make? So she made gumbo. Ooh. Um, but she always is just like she'll come across a recipe or something that looks good and uh-huh. she'll be like, Oh, I can make this. I'm the same way. I'm, <laughs> I'm the same way. Yeah. Right. I'm just like, oh, I can wear this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at home. Right, I'm right. Yeah. I feel right. like this right now. Right. Um, but you know, I can I I make pretty good meals. Yeah. That's why I write for myself. I'm a big pot meal kind of person. So like a one pot dish. Yeah. yeah. So I like like I made some veggie chili um, a couple of weeks back. That mm-hmm. was really good. Yeah. And I had it, I made it like with cornbread. I had it like, oh, lovely. Oh, what the hell was my effort? in this situation? <laughs> She's like, oh man. Yeah, you said it's veggie chili, so right. And the, the chili that. itself probably was more vegan, and then you know I always add like the cheese, the sour cream. That's the stuff I really can't right. let go of. Right. That's right. the cheese for me. Right. Right. <laughs> um. So yeah. So that's why I say veggie. But the chili itself probably was vegan. Gotcha. Um. Yes, I made that. Um, and I like those kind of just lots of pastas. Yes. I make a lot of pastas, yeah. especially like shrimp alfredos, yeah. um, spaghetti, those kind of things. So it's all the, the Mexican and the Italian. It's just for me. That's your, that's your go-to. <laughs> those are my go-to. I feel you. I feel you. Ooh, the fries is coming out. Yeah, yeah they're good to go now. Can you see the color difference from the first yes, time? Yes, they are looking yeah. golden. Let me see if I can swing this around. Charles, on the board, please have a roll. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever threw a fry to look so good. They do look fantastic. If you could just pass me that salt behind you, my love. Christmas. We're about to plate you up, girl. Oh, oh, oh. Are you, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? Oh! Are you ready? Oh, you good? Got your water, got your hot sauce. Let Man. me tell you about this girl. I walked in. She's like, you want something to drink? She cut this lemon just for me, though, <laughs> and gave me a metal straw, and I put my mouth on it like, wait a minute, is this mine? <laughs> all right, we about to get into it. First of all, get into this plate. She knows my heart. It's a leopard plate, y'all. <laughs> Start there. But get into these fries, like... They are looking like crispy sunshine. <laughs> I'm high. Please don't make me high. I'm high. Listen. Okay. I'm just going to taste when you try before. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, my God. Mm. You know how you buy your home, God? Right. <laughs> but it's good. Right. But you like it. Everything is burning. You like, you don't care. Right. Yes. Come on, hot. Oh, my Lord, today. I hope I can make this in slow motion. <laughs> oh, I would love to see that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me tell you this fry. My mm. bad. How's the flavor of the fries? Fantastic. I'm here for it. Yeah. I like a good fry that I don't have to put condiments in. Right. So, like, I'm a condiments person. Like, do y'all just saw the way I slid this hot sauce? Hot sauce right? I will slid this and some some hot sauce. I will smother this in some ketchup. But the way that this is fried, y'all, it's like it's like y'all even need it. It's so good. All right. She said she wanted ketchup, so I got her ketchup. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. First piece of fish. Yes. I'm going in. Yes. Fish, y'all. Fish. Potato marks. <laughs> oh, my God. It just gets me every time. Like, Show the inside. Like, why do we do it? Wait, do I do that? See the flakiness of that? Oh, my gosh. Yes. I'm not even showing. Y'all know how these YouTube videos be when they do the cooking. Right. Right, and they be all like, oh, I'm gonna savor this, baby. Yes, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get into it. You see me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one is right. All right. Easy. Fish and chips. That took like 20 minutes. Yeah. Start to finish. That was so easy. So I'm feeling confident about making me a vegan dish at home. Do it. I want front row seats. Y'all right. here, here first. She's going to try it. I'm feeling confident about yes. making a vegan dish at home. Yes. I hope that y'all are too. Yes. So if you try to do this at home, make sure you give Philly Vegan Wear a shout out. Please. Be like, you learned it right here on Queen Fury's Hit Spoken. Yes. yes. I'm so excited. Well, y'all know who it excites me, but <laughs> yes. Black women winning excites me even more. Oh, absolutely. So yes. this is a Black woman winning moment because Karina is a up and rising chef, vegan chef here in the city of Philadelphia. And how long do you have anything coming up? I mean, you be like all over the place. I don't even think I can keep up anymore. Child, sometimes I begin to the events that she already sold out. That happened to you the last two times. She know, already sold I out. Know. So luckily I have a break coming up. Yes. Um, so I'll be on vacation up until the 13th of December. Nice. And I'm taking some time out to, you know, refresh. So reset. <laughs> um, and then when I come back, and I'm hoping to really um, dive into my fan base a little bit more as far as what they want to see from me in 2022. Nice. Um, that's really important to me. Um, because 2021 for me, obviously, was preliminary. You know, mm -hmm. this was all 
where every starter moves, but I really want to know what my customers want from me coming up. Um, so that's what my focus is going to be for January. Mm -hmm. um, you know, whether it be more pop-up shops or more tutorials like this or more, uh, you know, more overall events, whatever they want, I really want to just do that. Um, because honestly, without my customers, there would be no reason there, like on some real talk. So that's really what I'm looking forward to, you know, when I come back. I'm mm -hmm. so I'm being racist. Oh, you want some napkins? I got you. I got it. I'm right here. Yeah, okay. okay. I got it. I got it. I got okay. it. Okay. Okay. I'm like, how am I be in the people's face? My hands is greasy. Well, that's how you know it's good. The hot sauce mm -hmm. starting to run my nose a little bit. Yes. It got me like, you know. Right. But it's good, y'all. So how can people get in touch with you? How do they order the food? Yes. So um, my Instagram is at Philly Vegan Wear. Uh, my Facebook is at Vegan Wear. My website is veganware.biz, that's B-I-Z. Uh, my phone number, 267-886078. Um, and like I said, as far as ordering food, you can go directly through my Instagram or through Uber Eats or Grubhub. Uh, my hours are Tuesday through Thursday, 12 to 8, and Friday, 1 to 9. Uh, I'm not open on weekends, nor am I open on Mondays. So those are my, my hours. Decent. So I'm so excited. I'm glad that we had the opportunity to talk with the career the way of Philly B. Where, and we got a little meal out the deal. Let's you can't go wrong saying? with that. You just can't go wrong with that. Don't be jealous right now. Okay. <laughs> can get get y'all. This is available on Fridays when I come back. Don't worry. Fish fry. Oh, can I tell them about how my menu is broken down? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So on Tuesdays, it's Taco Tuesday. Wednesday is Walk Wednesday. So Walk Wednesday is an Asian-inspired menu. So you'll have, like, General So, which is her particular favorite. Mm -hmm. um, then you have the uh, veggie ramen. Um, and also have on there um, bok choy, roasted bok choy. Uh, Thursday is my soul food menu which is the fried oyster mushrooms or the fried chicken, uh, the Cajun mac and cheese, which is one of my top sellers. Um, I also have on there on Thursdays, uh, oh, green, southern greens mm -hmm. on Thursdays. Yeah. That's mixed with a cabbage nightly. Um, oh, and the sandwich is also on Thursdays. So the fried chicken, you can come with a regular chicken sandwich or a hot honey chicken sandwich, or you can get it as a platter. Um, and then on Fridays, it's the fish fry Friday. So you have the fish with the option of fries, cheese grits, um, roasted potatoes, uh, or mac and cheese and greens as well. It's also available on Friday, and that is all she wrote. Yum! So, I guess December 13th, folks will be hitting you up. Listen, yes, yes, please. I'm gonna please. try to save some of this for live, but I'm not making I say too. Oh, you say too. I, I gotta think about why all the time. Yeah, I like, I her too. She was like, let me not put all of this in the place. Because, yeah, I mean, that was the real plan. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I saved it too. We're good. We're good. Now, these fries, that might be a good one. Yeah, I didn't want to get Well, give me one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, the sun is shining down on me. It's like, <laughs> not too crispy, not too soggy. I'm so excited. It's that second fry, yo. That second fry does it. I mean, I don't need to boast. But I'm boasting. <laughs> All right, one more. I mean, you might as well do it. You're not going to make it home. Who are you kidding? That's like eight left. You ain't doing it me. Who are you doing it? Then I tell her. <laughs> this is fine. All right, y'all. I'm going to get out of here so y'all don't see the way that I tear this plate up. But make sure you like, comment, uh, share, all that good stuff. If you thought that this was a good, if you want to see me do more things like this, let me know in the comments. I feel like this was dope. I had a great time. It was a wonderful conversation and we got a meal out the deal. Make sure you are checking us out every Wednesday at 8 p.m. when we premiere a new video for Queen Fears Has Spoken and I'm highlighting some dope queens just like this. Give it up for Karina White, Billy G and Where. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.